the questions to keep myself aligned. Waste away the hours doing what I should. Hi, welcome to Reflections with me, Kelly Bentley, and Aisha Hogan. Today we're going to be talking about WTF forgiveness, as in why forgiveness, which I think we could spend hours <laughs> talking about. Pretty but, much. Yeah. And I want to actually welcome our guests. So Karen Carter, thank you for joining us. Karen also wrote the theme song for Reflections. And then we've got Lisa Berry. <laughs> I had it in my head already. <laughs> <laughs> Our high voltage friend here. So today we're going to talk about why. Why do we want to forgive people? Or ourselves. Or ourselves. Especially ourselves. Especially ourselves. Especially, Especially yeah. ourselves. Absolutely. Most people don't even think about forgiving others, never mind themselves, I think. Well, yeah, I mean, I have a lot of clients that come in and they don't want to forgive. They're mad at whoever they're mad at. And when I say we are going to need to do forgiveness through this program, and they're like, oh, no, mm -hmm. like that is not happening. And the first thing they say is they don't deserve it. Yeah. Yes. There's a deserve thing. That. They don't deserve my forgiveness. And that how much energy does that hold and take up of your own life when you don't forgive someone? Yeah. That's what I often mention is it's not about them. It's all about you. Why you're forgiving them has only to do with you. They don't really. need to know. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always say uh, forgiveness gives freedom. That's why. Mm -hmm. If you want to be, have freedom and be free, forgive. Somewhere, something, somehow. Mm -hmm. Don't let something live for rent free in your head. I heard Aww. once, and it stuck with me. Oh, I like that's that. cool. Yeah. That, that is cool. cool. But I think the most, the biggest one, the biggest part of forgiveness that people have a par hard time with is forgiving themselves. Yes. You can almost forgive other people easier than you can forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. So that brings the question then, and what um, what do we need then? If 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 it's so hard, why is it like why forgiveness? But why is it so hard? Is it that we should start working on our self worth or the belief that we deserve it, as opposed to why should they deserve forgiveness? But why do why do I for deserve this forgiveness? I, well, I mean, I think I, what, I think what we all should do is maybe talk about our own experience, like a time that we've had to forgive ourselves. Ooh, we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, <laughs> we're not going to waste our time here. Here we go. Here we go. Why don't you start, Karen? <laughs> Me? Okay. You. No, I think um, it's very interesting because I think that I know for myself, um, I had a person in my life that I really, uh, I was so occupied with, you know, worrying about them. But what I actually realized that when I forgave myself for this whole incident, then everything shifted and me and this person now have a great relationship. Um, it's... How did you realize that was about? Holistic practitioners. Um, you know, I, this is something new for me in the last, I would say in the last 10 years. Um, not knowing, you know, I came from a background where you went to doctors and, and things and not understanding how energy, that whole energy makes such a big difference in your life. Yeah. And so when I shifted the energy to forgiving myself for carrying all that stuff, the whole thing changed. And the other person didn't even know about it. That was the cool thing. The other person, <laughs> because I didn't say anything to the other person, but the other person, um, when the energy, when I shifted the energy and forgave myself, then all of a sudden now we have a great relationship. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that is very cool. I went through that. It was forgiving. <sighs> we manifest everything, right? So everything that happens into our lives, we bring it. Yeah. So it was forgiving myself for bringing all of the dysfunction into my life and why would I do that to myself and I was angry and I thought that when I was 27 years old I'd had an abortion and I thought that everything that happened in my life before that and after that was because I made that decision mm -hmm. and I could not forgive myself and I thought I deserve every single thing that happens to me you gave all that power to one d decision basically right yeah that's a heavy, a heavy responsibility on one decision. And I get, and it's like, because uh, one day I said, thank you, God, I'm pregnant. And the next day I wasn't getting an abortion. And I'm like, how do I do that? Mm -hmm. And I deserve it. 
So meeting bad man after bad man and going through abuse and going through all kinds of stuff. And I was like, I deserve this. And what was the turnaround for you? How did you say, how did you know that you need to forgive them? That choice. That, that to forgive that, myself? That, that, yeah. Because I had to or else I wouldn't be here. So it was a hit, like a rock bottom kind right. of thing. <laughs> so it's just you get to a point sometimes where you just have to do it. And then there's the how. Like, to forgive someone else, okay, you can come up with all kinds of reasons why. You know, I think it's the hardest to figure out how to forgive yourself. It's, where do you start? Because really? you can have compassion. You can find compassion for other people and their situations and go, oh, you know what, that's what they went through in their lives, and that's why they are the way they are, and I get it, and they're maybe a little bit broken inside. And the and, and, and you find a reason, and you're able to... to make reasons and create reasons and, and find reasons to forgive them but how do you, you already know what you're like inside right. you already know that so I think it also starts too whenever we've done something made a t decision or choice that we know has caused so many bad things we we automatically want to justify it so there's the excuse yeah, of why we absolutely. did it so yeah. if we can go back and say there really was that, that reason that excuse or whatever so what what brought me there and then you can start to forgive maybe not the that big big thing that you're upset about but a step back and a step back so if you can open the door a little bit to that forgiveness like just by going so back you don't have to put it all on okay I got to forgive that big thing you know because if you say, say somebody really did something horrible to me and then I found out later that they had had a death in the family that day I don't know something right mm -hmm. then I go ooh, okay so I can forget you know what I mean like you have a step backwards right and so if we take that step backwards for ourselves then we can say well you know what I might have done that but this is what happened just before, so maybe if I could forgive myself a little bit for there, and you can get to the big thing. <laughs> Peeling away the layers Peeling of the, layers. the layers exactly. of the yeah, onion, sometimes right? That's what it. That's what it takes. Yes. And but, for me, I think as long as we keep doing that, you know, peeling away the the layers a little bit at a time, then we're getting to that place where we can reach the ultimate forgiveness, um, you know, for ourselves and bring us to a better place. It's so empowering. If you talked to me a couple of years ago, four years ago, me sitting here doing what I'm doing, I was in finance for heaven's yeah. sakes, doing bookkeeping, like, so doing, changing my life this much so that it made such a difference that now I want to reach out and help other people. And I never knew that forgiveness would be such a big piece of my practice. Like, yes, did I knew I would be doing hypnosis and past life and all the stuff that I do, but forgiveness was never in the list. Like it's it a foundation piece. <laughs> forgiveness is the foundation, We're almost right to move right. forward. It gives that freedom to, to move forward in anything. To even say I love you, you have to kind of, you know in the Ho'oponopono one. I was yeah, yeah. Is those four are the four lines, and it is a forgiveness prayer kind of thing. Right. So I don't know. It's just um, how do we how do we do that? How do we forgive ourselves? How do we even start that forgiveness? Where do we go? Like for someone might be sitting there, like it's easy for us to sit here and say that. If I think about myself and put myself back into the mindset of who I was mm -hmm. and go, I don't even know where to begin with that. Mm -hmm. I kept having to remove uh, myself and imagine myself as if I was a friend of mine. You know, how would I, and it's amazing the contrast or the negativity uh, per se that I would feel towards myself. And then as soon as you take that out, and you picture that as a person, all of a sudden out comes all of this compassion that where was that and why not myself? And yeah, it's it's definitely a layer thing, I find. Mm -hmm. it, there's a huge, it's a step-by-step -step process, definitely. I do the tapping most, I might think to myself, I'm gonna start with a hopopono, but then I'll think, no, I've gotta tap this out. And and do, do you guys do the tapping or just I've, are you I've familiar? I've heard, I'm familiar with it, but no. Yeah, I'm familiar with it too. I don't use it all the time. It's funny because at the very first setup statement that I might go through, um, like there's something that I, maybe I have an expectation of something and then I feel like I've messed it up because it didn't happen. So I have to stop and say, hmm. I don't know if I can forgive myself for this one. <laughs> so I might stop and say, like you t I'm tapping and I have to start and say, even though I'm not sure how I'm even going to forgive myself for this. And this finishing statement is, but I deeply accept and love myself. Mm -hmm. So forgiveness doesn't start with actually forgiving yourself yet. It might actually just start with, yeah, I don't even know how. Like remember in your other segment about Reiki, you don't have to know exactly how or anything, but if you just say it and walk through the motion of it and say, even though this is the problem, and I want the solution, but I don't know how it's going to happen. I can start there. Okay, but you, you said one thing right there. But I still accept and love myself. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of people who mm -hmm. are in that place do not accept and love themselves. You say it regardless. And the dissonance of that, I'm saying, I, I have friends and, and people very close to me say, I'm not saying that. I don't, though. And say, okay, so what we say is, I, I would like to love myself or hope to love myself, but generally, if you can if you get the words out, let them fall out and they'll move around in vibration, find a place. Like when you're singing, yes. you know, it, it, you're singing those words. Do you believe every word that you're singing off a radio, like a song, what you hear? But eventually it's going to get into you. might actually build some confidence from, from saying these things. For sure. Do yeah. you use song and music to help forgive or go through a process of Absolutely. emotion? Absolutely. It's amazing, you know, you listen to certain songs and stuff. Well, actually writing the theme song, you know, I really, as the... I knew they were the right lyrics because as they came up, the emotion came up with it, and I'm like, okay, we've hit the mark, you know. And mm -hmm. and it, it was important. It's 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 a really important piece, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I thought about that when I was hearing the lyrics. It was just goosebumps. I was like, this speaks to everyone, and it would work so well as a song that maybe if they don't feel that way and they're saying these lyrics, you know, it. As you're saying them, it, it was interesting because yeah. as I'm driving and I'm playing <laughs> it over and I'm, that's why when we, when we actually did the first run through and stuff, the emotion hit and was like, okay, you know, because I can feel it, you know, and when you feel it, there's a shift Very and it's powerful. great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Because forgiveness isn't just like that. And you might forgive yourself and then later on go, no, don't forgive myself. Mm -hmm. I take it and back. And then there, but there, and you, like you said, there are layers of forgiveness. I mean, up. and how do we forgive people who have passed away? Yeah. Right, so Ooh. that's another thing. Yeah, I do. Yeah, a, yeah. I do a lot of that, right? Because I like I, to hear about that. Because when I, I do a lot of past life regression and stuff, mm -hmm. so I take people into an area anyway. So if everybody says that they, you know, people, everybody has gifts, and I think my thing is that I am like the event planner and the <laughs> tour guide. So I am able to bring those two higher selves together. And the great thing is, it doesn't even matter if the person's passed away or not. It's being able to bring them together so that they can have that open conversation. And it happens. And I had that conversation with my father um, several times. And we actually got into an argument and everything and the whole thing. And I'm narrating all of this to Tarek, who I do talk that talk with. And I'm telling him everything that's happening. And then we worked it out. And each time we worked it out. And each time we worked it out. And I was able to sort of send that love from my own heart chakra and, and encompass us and, and in that love and forgiveness. And that's what I do with my clients. And as I create that space where they're able to talk to each other when they're ready to do the forgiveness. So that same person who says to me, no, hell no, I'm not forgiving that person, is all of a sudden saying, okay, Aisha, I'm ready now. And when I take them to that place, because if they're not ready, that other higher self is not coming not anyways. Right. So yeah. once they say, okay, Aisha, I'm ready, then we go. And when we go, they're able to have that conversation. And all of a sudden, they don't want to leave each other. And this is giving that time for them to talk and, and know that, they're, that that person is always there for them. And all of a sudden, they come back. And even whether the person's alive or has transitioned, you're like their relationship completely changes. All of a sudden, that other person might still be a not nice person, but how they handle them and how they're able to deal with them and respond to them is completely different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and in my case with my dad, I am thankful for every thing that we went through together, as bad as some of it was, because it gave me the tools that I needed to do what I do now. Right, shift in perspective, so important. Seeing the positive aspects of the worst situation because I am a very strong believer that, that there's always positivity in every kind of terrible situation. If you can just skew your, per skew is a terrible word, uh, change your perspective <laughs> a little bit. Skew just has a negative connotation, I think. But just to change your perspective a little and see it in a new way can be huge. The other day I was doing a group meditation. I don't know, I started talking about lessons and stuff. And I said, Pick I don't even know. All of a sudden this stuff started coming out of my mouth. <laughs> and I said, picture it like each life lesson as a walnut. Mm -hmm. And we walk around with all these walnuts in our pockets, carrying all the hurt and the pain and all that stuff. But actually, if we would just open the walnut, eat the nut, which is the lesson, mm -hmm. and throw away the shell and just let that be recycled, yeah. 
all of a sudden now we've got the piece that we really needed that's nourished us and the rest of it can just talking about the piece of it i was gonna say it's funny being at peace with something doesn't mean being happy about something that's true. true. Yeah. Like so true. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a good point. Actually, it takes so much pressure off yeah. of it because then it does take the pressure off of positive or negative and all that. It just says, I'm at peace with this. And whether you are happy about forgiving someone else or yourself, um, just it's that it's that peace. It's like the alignment and letting the energy yeah. flow to that. Okay, because you can that. never be happy about the stuff that you went through. Yeah. And right. you can't change Yay. everything. Crap. <laughs> Yeah, acceptance. Yeah, it's, huge. it's very huge. So, I mean, forgiveness is a big piece and it's so powerful. Yeah. You cannot heal it's without anchor. forgiveness. It will be an anchor. It will hold you in the past. And I think that's another thing too. If you Usually when we're, we're upset and then we're, we need to give forgiveness, let's say. So we're in a state of needing to give forgiveness to somebody or ourselves. It anchors us to the past of that action or the act or the, or the thought or the word or whatever that is. And you can't be present then. Forget the future. <laughs> you, you're always in the past. And you can't go through that interview style in your head about why did I do this? Why didn't I do this? I should have said this. I should have done that. Because it, just, it, it holds you back in that cycle of, of not being productive and experiencing what's going on at this moment. It's like playing a euchre game. I should have, would have, could have. Ah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand euchre, but I definitely understand what I could I remember that in high school, skipping class. I should have. That's what I used to play was in high school. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't want to be that with that partner. They don't. Want <laughs> but yeah, super important. Need to do it, and I still do it. Like it's still a piece of my life every day. Like I get stressed out, and I start like you know somebody's on the phone and. I can't get my computer to work or whatever. I'm just having a day where everything is technical is like just, oh, oh. you just want to grab the laptop and like throw it through the window. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, I'm just standing there going, oh, my God, I must be like a crazy person. And you get up and you walk around and you're like, oh. <laughs> and, I'm like and then I start laughing, right? Because I'm like, if somebody was watching me right now, and I know you are, like you must be <laughs> laughing because I look like a mental case, right? So... <laughs> So I'm just like, okay. And then like, does this really matter? Come on. Right. In the grand scheme of things, yeah. Well, they say um, a lot of people do the gratitude journal. Yes. So I'm thankful for and I'm grateful and I'm happy for. But there should be, there could be a forgiveness journal. <laughs> like that's Absolutely. a great Wow, idea. that's a great, great idea. idea. There you go. Woo! It's all inspired yeah. by here right now. Yeah. That's a great idea. Absolutely. That might be even deeper because it's, uh, sometimes people say, okay, I am grateful and thankful. But if we start to say, I would like to forgive this, mm -hmm. or I do forgive this, or I, I like the different levels of, we said the layers of forgiveness. Oh my God, I want to go and start writing tonight. I have like, with little tabs. Do what you call it, call them free chakra. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down there, oh. cowgirl. <laughs> That's great though for people also that don't know where to start. Because just yes. writing and just letting it, <laughs> yeah. even all the crap that you're thinking and all the negative crap, yeah. just writing that. That's maybe where they can find so out they, what they want to forgive. Yeah, they may not want to tell the person, but if you write it down in your own personal mm -hmm. forgiveness journal, Especially, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Then you know what? Yeah, yeah. 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 So th then you've changed the energy. I have. You've already changed the people. energy. Yeah. Have you done that? Whether you write the letter and they say you can either burn it after or just don't show them, but have you oh, yeah. that process? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, with a few people, I just write out the letter and I keep it. But once it's out of your head and you're writing it down manually, and I really believe that manually is different than typing it or you know. there is yeah proof yeah it, it, it yeah. really helps you have to do I, I say that too like I've got my journal and they're all handwritten mm -hmm. I do not do those on the computer mm -hmm. right yeah there's something different about it so you've done it too then have you done well it? I've done the gr I gratitude <laughs> I and I and I do journalize but I'd never thought of it as a forgiveness journal it's mm -hmm. kind of like an everything journal but to work with people and say you know I want you to start a forgiveness journal because even when people come and talk to you they edit themselves yes yes no mm -hmm. one's gonna come in and talk to you and just like spill their guts they're gonna tell you some of the main things but it's not till later and especially if they were the ones that screwed up yeah. mm -hmm. right because then yeah the omission of guilt and confession I don't want I don't want them to know that so I'll just tell her just part of it just we'll whatever I need to do. <laughs> exactly she'll probably judge me if I tell her exactly 
exactly what I did. So let's just tell her a piece and sort of thing. But yeah, See if we can find a way. Um, I was doing a session last week and I felt that this person at the beginning just might have a little bit to hold back. So I, I said, draw a stick figure on. I was on the phone doing this uh, session. I said, draw a stick figure. And so if something comes up for you and you either don't want to say it yet or you don't want to share it with me, let's say, just put a little circle, check mark, whatever you want on that part of the body that you feel that emotion or something that maybe it's a forgiveness. Maybe you think, I don't know, but I just know it hurts here or it hurts here. or mm-hmm. And so kind of, it start, I think that we're onto something. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's like combustion, the t- creation and all of that. Kind of stuff. <laughs> So I said she's so high voltage. She is combusting right like so. So funny. No. And then it's just, you know, he's seeing the change in people, right? Because I don't even, like, they notice it. But, you know, when that person comes in and they're kind of like shoulders are down and and they're telling you their thing and they're kind of mumbling and they're they're talking to you about stuff. And some of them don't even make eye contact where I'm kind of going like, Watch me over here. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it's just making them look at you, yeah. and and you know that there's something going on inside them, like so bad that they can't even look at you. Yeah. You know, and where you're just like, you know what? Nothing is that bad. Mm-hmm. I like what you're saying just about going through after forgiveness. What's that? after forgiveness? Like, what's that? Next? Like, how do they feel? Like, there is this like like you said, shoulders down. Their, their shoulders open. Their heart is open. Right. Yes. Right, that's they stand change. different. They walk mm-hmm. different. Flowing differently yeah. inside them, yeah, mm-hmm. and towards others, yeah. I have a, I have a, per, I have a woman that's in my meditation groups that um, I'm working with, and just in like <laughs> three days of working with her, you know, she walked in, sat down, and I didn't have to say anything. Everybody that knows her that's in the group was like, "Oh my God, you're glowing." You're radiating. You're like, everybody noticed mm-hmm. the changes in her. Yeah. Well, she's let go of all those walnut shells. Right? She <laughs> threw away all the walnut <laughs> shells. A little bit lighter. You yeah. know, so it's it makes a huge difference in us. And here's the bonus of forgiveness that I'm always saying. It is so selfish. Like, it's the most selfish thing that you can do for yourself. So take it. Yeah. Take it. Oh, because so it is for you. And even when I've taken people up to that place and we're doing like the talking and sometimes the other, the higher self doesn't accept it, Mm -hmm. will not either accept the forgiveness or will not give it. Mm -hmm. And that part doesn't matter. I always tell them whether they, you tell them that you, you forgive them and they don't accept it Mm -hmm. or you ask for forgiveness and they don't take it. That's irrelevant. That's their journey. That has nothing to do with you. As long as you 100% feel that this is what you need to do and you're forgiving or you're asking, Mm -hmm. how they deal with it, that's their stuff. Not your problem. That's their own stuff. Don't carry that. Yeah. (laughs) I was just thinking about somebody who, um, because I wanted to give this example, is if somebody needs forgiveness for the thing that they're still in the result of, and I'm just going to use this as an example, somebody's run themselves into massive debt. So you're in massive debt, and you need to forgive yourself for making those choices or, or forgive just even for the f- feeling of maybe you are supposed to be in debt because you've gone to school or you've done your thing. So this isn't a judgment call. But if you still have that debt or you still gain the weight or you've still done, you know what I mean, all these things, can you forgive while that result you're still living in it? And I believe you can. And I believe I you should. I am 100% that you can. Okay, yeah. So I just want to get it. 100% yeah. that you know can. That. I wish we had 20,000 more hours to talk about this. <laughs> 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 but you just want to go out and just forgive everyone, just yeah. floating around. I forgive you and you and you just and you. Forgive <laughs> okay, everybody. Um, so thank you all for watching. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Um, thanks, Aisha. Hey. <laughs> Hi, voltage Lisa. And Jasper. And Jasper. That was, that was a, good, a good topic. Uh, so, yes, if you have any comments or ways that you want to forgive or uh, ways, ideas that you might have about forgiveness, anything at all, please write to us. We would love to hear from you. Um, and I guess until next time. Yep, and we're on YouTube, we're on Vimeo, we're on some networks. Check us out on our social media. And thanks for coming.